there you have it, Isabel from Animal Crossing. Do you want to paint Isabel from Animal Crossing with me? Okay, let's go. Today we're going to be painting Isabel from Animal Crossing New Horizons. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Hot pink, yellow, orange, white, black, a pencil, some paper, and your fingers. Don't forget, share your paintings with me on Instagram. Use the hashtag ArtForKidsTV to be featured as the Artist of the Week. Now let's begin. I'm actually going to dip into the orange first to kind of do my outline as this is going to really help the foreground, the front, stand out. So I'm going to make kind of a square. I'm going to make kind of a square because Isabel's face is kind of square-like, except I'm going to make the bottom a little bit rounded, like so. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, like a square but with kind of a, a rounder bottom. And that's going to be her jawline, like so. And then she's got these super cute ears that are like, they're like little big old teardrops. And we're going to go and do a little bit of a round, like so. We're just making it round. And we're going to do a line down. And we're going to do a line that matches up with that, like so. So those are going to be her ears. And Isabel has some really fun hair. So let me actually put, figure out where her hair is going to go and put that in now. So on top of her ears, we're going to start by doing kind of like the finishing off our square and this is going to go down like so and then it's kind of like a heart or like flower petals and this is going to be her hair sometimes it helps to do an outline first and then it's a lot easier to go back and color things in and on top of Isabella's hair she has well, on top of her hair. She has hair on top of her head. Her, her hair is pulled into like a ponytail. So I'm going to make this kind of like a ball because hers looks like kind of like so. And then she's got another little bit right here. And that is going to be Isabella's hair. I'm also going to give her a little bit of a neck. So I'm going to do two lines there. I'm going to fill that in a bit. Not going to fill everything in. I'm going to make sure that we leave areas that I want to keep yellow, very yellow. So there we go. There is kind of what our Isabella is going to look like. And now we're going to go in with our yellow. Cleaning my finger off a bit, we're going to go in with our yellow. And I'm actually going to start up here. And this is going to be her face. We're going to leave a big empty spot at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of make a big circle. This is going to be where her mouth is. Right about so. Nice and big and round. I'm going to leave that space open and I'm actually going to fill that in with white right now. Kind of let it dry. So I'm going to fill that in with white. If it mixes a little bit with the orange and the yellow, that's okay because hers is a little bit off-white, so this is actually going to make it look more authentic if you mix in a little bit of the other colors as that you pick up along the way. Just make sure you don't have any obvious streaks. So we're going to make a little bit of a round area over here as well and carry that over. Just kind of blend this out. Make it look nice and creamy. And that's going to be where her mouth is and her nose. Going back into our yellow, I'm actually just going to fill in this area right here, right above where we put her mouth. I'm just going to fill in into the line. I'm gonna cover over part of this line just to make it look like that is an outline and not a very big, thick 
orange line, like so. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. Isabel was always one of my favorite characters because she's so nice, so helpful in the game. Unlike Tom Nook, oh, I can't wait to play the new Animal Crossing on Switch. Have any of you guys started playing? It was has always been one of my favorite games to play. We're gonna color in her hair now. We're just using these guides that we put in with the orange and we're just coloring things in. She's got some very yellow hair that kind of matches her face. I'm gonna not fill everything in completely. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that orange just to help things stand out. And we're gonna do the other side as well. It's just such a fun game. It's so relaxing to play. It's a good, good break. I like that it, you can't really die in Animal Crossing. I think that's was such, when it first came out, was such a fun thing that was so different from other games. I used to get really frustrated playing games because everybody else was really good at them, but I always died in my game. All right, now we have that. I'm gonna actually do a little bit of a swirl on her hair. So what I'm gonna do is there's going to be a U at the bottom of this bit of the ponytail, kind of like there. And we're going to do kind of two U's. We're gonna do one U there with our fingers and another one there. And we're gonna just fill this bottom area in with our yellow and that's going to make the bottom part of her ponytail. But you can't have a ponytail without a hair tie. So going into my hot pink that I've already pulled out, we're just going to do a light line and that is going to be her ponytail that keeps her hair all in place. I'm gonna just make sure that I cover that up just a little bit. You don't have to, but I like to do so. Just make sure that it stands out in the background. And her hair shows over top of it. Okay, so there we go. We have her hair kind of done. Now we're gonna go into her ears. I'm actually going to fill this in a little bit with orange, and then I'm gonna go back and do the yellow. So a little bit of orange, go back in with my yellow, and I'm just gonna kind of Put it on the outside and just blend down. She's Her ears are definitely a lot darker than the rest of her face. So we're gonna make sure that Isabel's ears stay nice and orange. I am using a little bit of artistic creativity here because I don't want it to be extremely yellow on yellow on yellow. I want to definitely show that difference of having a little bit of orange here and having a little bit of yellow there to really just make it look like it's not just one big blob on the paper. I don't know about you, but that happens to me sometimes when I finger paint things start to look a little blobbish. You don't want any blobs this time. All right, I'm gonna make a little V here and I'm gonna color up with my finger a bit and that is going to be where Isabelle's neck is, like so. All right, we've got something there. I'm gonna actually touch into the pink again and I'm gonna do her cheeks. We're gonna do a little dot on each cheek because she's got these really cute, happy little cheeks all the time and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do two things. One thing I'm going to touch in with my finger and I'm going to make her nose. So touch the nose like so and then I'm going to work on the eyes. For the eyes I'm going to do a very light touch and pull 
right there. And on the same on the other side, touch and pull. So that shows part of the eyes. I'm gonna take my pencil though, because I wanna have a little bit more control. My fingers are a little too fat and stubby to do some of this extra stuff. So I'm just going to make sure that this is a little thick. And I'm gonna do the top of her eyes. She's got these really cool eyeliner, like eyelashes at the top, and I'm just gonna draw those on. Just a line at the top of the eye with a little bit of a curve. Like so. And then we're going to do her mouth, actually. I'm gonna take this black. Using my finger, I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna mix the two together to create a nice gray color because Isabelle's mouth is gray and not black. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that onto my pencil if I can. And I'm going to make a big V. I'm gonna actually dip into the black a little bit more. So I am painting directly on white, so maybe I'm gonna just try to do it directly with the black. Maybe in, for you, you would want to use a hair dryer and dry your face a little bit, dry the paint, and then put it on with a Sharpie. That could be a lot easier, or you can use a brush. I'm just using a pencil because it's just what I have closest to me at the moment. All right, and I'm gonna do a little line from the center going to the mouth for the edge of her mouth. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side, like so. There we go. We have her mouth. I'm gonna dip into some white after I clean off my pencil, and I'm going to do a little line, little oval in the center of her eyeball. See if I can do this. Nope. We're a little too wet. Let's try it again. I think I'm gonna have to use my hair dryer. It happens, folks, it happens. So. One moment. Let's try this again. Okay, so dipping into my white, I am going to put just a little bit in the center of each eyeball. Okay, we have that. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of a uh, Hawaiian shirt on our Isabel because in New Leaf, she's actually on a tropical place, a tropical location. It's got a whole tropical theme. So I'm just gonna kind of do a, we'll do a V at the bottom of her neck. And I'm just gonna kind of go down Kind of make like a big M shape, see? M, big M shape. And I'm gonna fill that in a bit. Just fill that in. I'm gonna take my pink though, and I am going to just, starting at the bottom of her face, kind of take it straight down Make the M a little bit bigger. 
It's one thing about painting. I always find myself adding and changing. I'm gonna dip into some white. I'm gonna mix some white in with this pink. I'm gonna get a nice rosy color and I am going to make a color. So I'm gonna draw straight down on either side and then I'm going to draw straight down this way on either side. That makes kind of a, a little bit of a shirt color right there. Maybe she's got a little pocket right here. So I'm gonna make her a little pocket. And I'm gonna throw, let's see, that's where her sleeve is. So let's throw some sleeve. Maybe she's got another sleeve right here. So I'll just do a little line, carry it down, showing where some sleeve is. Maybe she's, the light is hitting her shoulder a bit. So we'll just carry that up. And you just keep adding until it looks like you think it should look. Whatever your mind tells you to do, it is your character, it is your Isabel, nobody else's Isabel, Isabel is as seen by you. And ta-da, there we have it. There is our Isabel from Animal Crossing New Leaf. What do you guys think? I really hope that you enjoyed painting with me today. I thought it was a lot of fun. And until next time, Bye!